All right. Fuck. Okay. Welcome to session two, then. So last we left off, you guys um, kind of just met each other after these bandits showed up in Fendalen, and you guys had all worked together to stop them. And then there was a little uh, chaos going on after Xion kind of was like, oh, yeah, I'm looking for this Arthur, Arthur. And then Arch started panicking, and Neri, who knew kind of what was going on, started panicking as well. And on their way out of town, they kind of got caught. So everything came clean, and you guys all, while discussing, uh, got pooped on by the dragon that is causing yep. issues in town. And you decided that out of hatred, you need to work together and uh, become stronger and eventually defeat this dragon and get revenge for it pooping on you guys. And other reasons. And other reasons, yes. Uh, so you guys went to the guild hall and took up your first quest, uh, Umbridge Hill, which was to go ahead and get back the town apothecary and bring her back into town so that we're is missing broke today which is why we didn't do the gnome quest no we're missing lucky oh true god so with that uh before we leave Fandolin and go to uh go off to umbridge hill is there anything you guys would like to do in Sleep. Family? It's the middle of the day. Properly hey. clean? Hey, let's see. Well, you guys went to the river before you went into the guild hall. But you said I was still smelly. Yeah. I mean, yeah. You didn't go to the river, did you? You just wiped yourself off with clothes. No, I did. I yeah, he I was did. Still he smelly. did, but he was like a little bit uh, after you because he was talking. Loser. A loser. Dang, that's not very... Wait, was Possibly. it that I still smell smelly, or I, I smelled myself and I thought I smelled smelly? You smelled yourself and you still thought you were kind of smelly. <laughs> Alright, before you head out, you guys, uh, how do I how do I smell? Everything alright? Nope. Can I, can I see if he's lying? Can I see if that was a lying reaction? Go ahead. <laughs> I guess I have no way of knowing, but I really hope he was lying. If you were trying to deceive me with your with that reaction. Well, here's the thing. Could I tell if he smells like crap? I mean, do you want to go ahead and sniff him? Oh, yeah. Just go ahead and make a perception check. Oh, no. You think above like a two. I have a weak stomach. <laughs> Shit. Uh -oh. So, although he was cleaned off, <laughs> he smelled like shit. There is some like residual smell still, and it will probably like take a while to get rid of, and it's probably yeah, something that will right. last for like a, maybe another day or two. You know. Oh, you I'm to not. Man find attractive women NPCs and introduce myself to them smelly. One time when I was working at my like first job, it was at, like basically a gas station. Um, there was a, a rat or a mouse that had eaten some poison and then crawled into the bottom of our water cooler and died. And it sat there for a couple of days before anyone found it. So it stank like shit. And I was on shift the day it got found, so I had to clean it out. And I think I smelled like dead. I did it at the start of the shift, and I smelled like, like mushed up rat guts for like the whole rest of the shift, which was like six hours. It was, yeah, it was so good. That is vile. <laughs> yeah, it was like That's it had right. been there for long enough that like when I got like some paper towels to like pick it up, I like <laughs> grabbed it and like started sliding it off the like bottom of the water cooler. And, but like, this is, I had to pull apart the water cooler because it was all, like, obviously, like, screwed together and stuff. Yeah. I, like, started pulling it off, and the top of it came, and the, and the bottom was stuck. So, like, it just kind of ripped in half. I think that's probably what contributed to the smell the most, was so getting the gut, the gut splatter here, on me. Does he still have pieces of shit on him? He wouldn't have any on him. 
but he still smells like there's some residual just smell. The, it's just the pheromones, bro. Yeah. yeah, it's just a residual smell. Yeah, you smell. Get the hell out of here. Um, that's not the correct voice that I remember. <laughs> <laughs> Kidding. Uh, get the hell out of here. Can. Did, after the dragon did the shit, did all the villagers like come running and they're like, "Oh my god, a blessing from above!" And they <laughs> took it all as fertilizer. Uh, you can still see. Well, so the path that you guys would need to le- use to go to Umbridge Hill is not the path. Is not where you guys got pooped on. Yeah, but did they do that though? You didn't no. no people weren't going. like a bless no, people were not saying it's a blessing from above. People are afraid of the dragon. Dumb cunts use the fertilizer up, stupid. That's that's now I'm ready to have a sleep and then go. It's the middle of the day. I don't give a fuck, bro. I have to sit I have to just sit in the corner for four hours. That's all I have to do, and I'm good. <sighs> Are you telling me never in your life have you slept during the day? I'm just saying. I had a nap earlier today. Before I started working again, I was like fully nocturnal. Which is sick. Dick is uh, cool, yeah. But yeah, we can we can go. I'll I'll just I'll just keep like a small distance from everyone. I have no second level spell spells. No. Can't be that hard. I mean, if you want extra health and stuff, like I can do that for you, but not without my spell slots, brother. Um, I mean, we we both of us can go take a rest if no one else wants to. What are they gonna do? Go find the cleric? I don't know, but can you hold me in your arms so I can take a nice little nap? What? I'm going to be standing up. So unless you want to sleep standing up, then no. I'm fine to go. go. Where are we going to go sleep? That's the real question. At the inn, probably. I can sleep literally anywhere. I just go boop, boop, boop. And then I stand there for four hours, and then I'm good. How do we find the quest log again? It's the little, like flag thing oh there it is yeah. there it is there it is all right so we'll we'll go to the end and we'll fucking take a goddamn nap so that will take so you want to do a long rest is that yeah well saying? i don't get my shit back on a short yeah yeah a long rest is fine with so me. that's gonna be eight hours yeah that's fine um it's gonna be four hours for me during this time can i like try and meet people who might know about the how to get dragon apothecary. No. <laughs> God damn it. Um but uh I'll try and meet people who might you know know the apothecary from before and some possible ways to try and convince her to come back. Um and why um, she left probably would be a good idea to find out too. Yeah. One second. So we can gaslight her into coming back. Uh, okay, so you two want to rest. Um, you want to go there. Uh, okay, Neri, what are you gonna be doing? Um, I guess I can rest too. I don't really do, but whatever. Wow, pansies. Okay. Um, <laughs> I mean, okay. Our, the problem is, if we rest eight hours from like I what know. is it midday? It are we just gonna dark. leave in the middle of the night and try and go I mean, knock at our house at like night, 3 a.m.? Like nine ish. Yeah, but by the time we leave Fandalin and get to her, it'd probably be like 3 a.m. or something stupid, and we'd be like knocking on her door, like, "Hey, can we? Uh, y'all come back well, to Fandalin?" How far away is it? Uh, it's about an hour. Miles, I meant, say, but like, an hour works, I suppose. Take a rest and then meet up in the morning. We can just do that. Yeah, we can do that. I mean, we can just take the day. Um, <laughs> so, can I try and do some information gathering? Okay. I have a thing that I want to do, but I need to double check rules first. 
you know what? Before I go to sleep, I'll I'll head out and do some information gathering. Okay. I feel like your type of information gathering is hiding around corners and eavesdropping. Sometimes you gotta do what you gotta do. True God. Okay. Uh, okay, so... Golis is also going to do that. Okay. And then you're just going to go straight to resting then, Bomberand, or...? Um, no, I'm checking some rules first. Okay. Sorry, give me a That's fine. A and then, bit. Neri, you just want to go straight to resting, or...? Yeah, I'm not going to do anything else in the village. I, I could say I hang out with, um... Uh, arc a bit. Okay. Catch oh, up. Yeah, that works. But obviously he's not here, so... That's fine. You guys can exchange lively stories. <laughs> Into the town square or something. Mm -hmm. Oh, I, I help him put all his shit back in his room. Let's say we do that. Yeah, that's probably <laughs> uh, important. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, okay, by the way, for you, long rest is six hours, not four. That's enough. That's an important two-hour difference. <laughs> True. Um, six hours century inactive yes. instead of rest. Yes. All right. Okay. Um, uh, Golis and Shion, are you guys going to be getting information together, or are you guys going separately around town? Either is fine. No. Yeah, we can we can go together. All right. Is there any specific place or type of people that you guys are trying to meet? Anything like that? I guess it's like at first it's like going to just like people we see and be like, hey, do you know anyone? Or like, do you know, you know, the apothecary? And or like, do you know someone who lived here when they were here kind of thing? Yeah, pretty much just like a broad range and then we'll narrow it down. One of you make a investigation roll just like to see what type of information I'll give you. I don't care who. What's just your investigation? Wanted. Minus one. All right, I'll roll. <laughs> Do you not remember? I couldn't figure out that Arthur was Arthur. <laughs> oh, baby. Genius. Okay. So, at first... So, you guys are at first talking to just, like, anyone you see, right? Yeah. Yeah. And so, just kind of asking them first, like, if they know them directly, or then if they don't, well, I'll, like, fo like, follow up and ask, like, oh. But, like, yeah, do you like, know we'll, who did? We'll go into like, some, like, shops... Just, you know, basic asking around. So, you guys start around just, you know, talking to people on the street, doing whatever. Um, they're a little freaked out by Golis's mask and voice. They're like, what the fuck? Um, most of mm -hmm. them don't even know who you're talking about at first. Uh, eventually, when you start going into the shops, like, I assume you guys talk to, like, Barthen, right? Yes, yes. So, when you talk to Barthen, ah, yes, Adabra Gwyn. Most of her life, she has lived in a windmill on Umbridge Hill. Excuse me? And that is because knew. she is devoted to the goddess of agriculture, Shanti. Okay. So she prefers this location as she's able to uh, work with her plants and the agriculture there, as it's very bountiful for her. Although... Fendalen is known for farming, so I'm sure if she were to move here, if you were to convince her, she would be able to test new potions and get uh, much nicer things. Wait, has she never lived here? I thought she was coming back. So she lived here, like, when she was born and a little kid. Ah. Uh. <laughs> but pretty much the second... Since, she, since she's she been could, renowned, she hasn't been. Yeah, there. but the second, like, she could leave, she pretty much did. Was there a reason? Um, not really. She just preferred to be more by herself. Okay. Okay. 
and she just uh, enjoyed the the view of the hill, the silence of the hill. Silent Hill. Silent Hill. But Are most importantly, she Silent is Hill known campaign? as the only person in town known uh, to be able to create potions. Mm. Generally, if a adventurer is to come into town and they want a potion, they are required to go all the way over there and then come back. And it would be much easier. And if we want to sell them, we are required to go all the way over there to buy them and, and come back. It would be much easier if she were just to live here again, especially, you know, we can protect if there are adventures here, we can, of course, protect her work together. She's not able to protect herself. Well, she's not an adventurer. She's just an apothecary. She just knows how to make potions. Yeah, but you never know. Some people have some hidden strengths. I don't know. I haven't spoken with her in quite some time. I usually send one of these two doofuses, he points to his two assistants, uh, to go out and get potions if I need them. Uh, I guess we can question them. Like, I want to know, like, I guess, like, her personality. Is she someone that's kind of, like, closed off to, you know, people like us? I'll just, you know, talk to her and whatnot. If we'd have any trouble with her. She, uh, usually takes some persuasion if you want her to try to do something. It can be a bit difficult. Says one of them. A bit, a bit what? Can you repeat that? She can be a bit difficult to convince. Okay, okay. Uh, but she, she won't be, like, scared off if, you know, we were to just... No, no, she usually will her. talk to people, but, uh, I mean, depends how long you stay in your behavior. I mean, she well, one time threw a frying pan at, at the other guy. Interesting. Okay, uh... I'm just going to say you probably deserved it. That's only because I asked for the potions to be 20 gold. Which hey, anyone probably. would know is like a complete ripoff. Because <laughs> they're normally 50. I'll be, like, I'll be like, hey, listen, this is this woman's livelihood. You can't be, you know, trying to screw her over like that. Come on now. Uh, all right. I guess that'll probably be all that we can find out from these guys. Yeah, that's fine. I mean, <clears throat> I don't know how long this took us, but how long did it take us? I mean, it might take you guys, like, I mean, seeing as you were not just questioning them, but that's the only one I was, you know, telling you about, if you guys were going around town asking other people, maybe it took like an hour or so. That's it? Oh my god. Okay. You want more? It took you all eight hours. Davin. <laughs> you don't I get it. I feel like rest. if I do nothing with unwasted time, it's bad. But like, okay. You know what? I would like to, after we get this information, maybe try and sit back down with the rest of the group and kind of discuss our strengths in combat. Since we are a new party together, we should do that after. Well, we should do that like during our rest, in like the last hour of the rest. That's a good idea. What? Wait, why? If you want five extra health. Uh, we well, discuss we can't discuss beforehand, and then just like. Nah, it lasts eight hours. So like. But wait, huh? Like, like we can't even talk. Like spell. I can't. I can't go and see you and talk to you until then. <laughs> What? I no, mean, I'm yeah, just saying, but, like, like, if you want extra help, I suppose we can discuss that before, like, during this thing. Yeah, 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 exactly. That's what I'm saying. Like, you know, just 
discussing maybe some of the things we've done or like actually why would we need health it's just a finding a cleric i'm sure there won't be any combat wink wink let's just no i'm not saying that i'm just saying like it's fine wait Wait, but i'll do this some other time okay well, I'm so confused. <laughs> Disregard <laughs> everything I've said, and you will no longer be confused. That's fine. Like, on, on this health, is this something where I cannot interact with you before? My brother in Christ, disregard <laughs> everything that I have said. Just disregard it, we'll find out. I don't know. Uh, okay. I mean, do not worry. I mean, both of us can talk about that, you know? Okay, yeah. That's fine. But I do want to roll to see... If I could trust him with information. Trust who? You're talking about Xion? I can't. Yes. Uh, go ahead, make an insight check. I have nothing to hide. I mean, clearly, like, you've seen me, um, you know. I mean, like, yeah. what's what I was going to say? Like, you've seen me, like, see, like, it, there's this criminal I found first out of hundreds of people and was offer, offered offered between 500 to upwards of 5,000 gold pieces and thought they were a good person and didn't do anything about it. <laughs> like that is fair. I feel like I have. You know, there's there's some things you know I, I keep. Close but maybe to I have some other hits. Mm. Ooh, I'm, I'm kidding. I don't. You I, I don't have. This is my only current bounty. Oh, but yeah, I told you. <laughs> so yeah, we can. We can discuss about you know things that we that we do. No, yeah. I'm just a your basic magician that likes to dabble in uh, necromancy. Okay, so are you guys okay. going full rest here, or are you guys going? <laughs> well, uh, we're gonna be resting. chatting for a little. Yeah, bit we're gonna be chatting, rest. I guess. And then okay. Rest. Yeah, we we can share some stories as well. So you say we're like doing this over dinner? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah, we can do that. Well, that's what I was trying to say, is, like, I would li- ideally like to meet everyone and just talk, but, like, if yeah. that's not... Like, if someone doesn't want to come, that's fine, too, I guess. <laughs> I don't know. Okay. But we have to remember, the robot has no feelings. Yeah, we don't know that. Oh, we do. Oh, we're back. <laughs> yeah. Um, Sessa next to my best friend. <laughs> I best see you booting friends. down at the moment. <laughs> no, I'm yeah, not booting I down. <clears throat> I, I guess. I think that eating food is a pointless endeavor. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, so I do have a place to stay, though, right? If you want to like use that, time. correct. You do. Okay. I if that is something would, that you're interested we'll in using. Um, okay. Mary, you technically did pay for a room for the night already. Yeah, I was gonna say, yeah, I do have a room. I haven't been to it yet, but... <laughs> Correct. That's so funny. Wait, like, as okay. you enter, um, <laughs> Tobal is just gonna be like, when did you leave? I don't think I, uh, saw you leave. Oh, I just ducked out when you were cleaning glasses. Whatever. <laughs> uh. No, it must have been when you were cleaning the room that you proclaimed to be spotless. Uh, after I found <laughs> countless loopholes. He's just immediately as you say the word spotless, he just turns around and like head down. <laughs> Starts wiping down the bench or something. Yeah. Ignores you. <laughs> <laughs> um, so I, I guess I know he's not here, but I'll kind of, you know, in addition to, you know, our, our own personal abilities, which we can get into, I guess I'll begin to. Kind of talk to Arthur. I mean, this is open conversation, but just kind of like why I felt like I could uh, trust him and kind of like my own personal kind of endeavors and what I'm trying to do, which is basically that um, my ancestor, uh, Win, Win Soryu, you, uh, he basically had. Uh, Joy, like you know, got welcomed into this kingdom, and the bride ended up being a changeling and kind of tricked him, and so my heritage lost their like magical power and stuff, and so uh, I'd like to take over that kingdom and avenge him one day. Did you say the bride? Yeah, the bride, like the the princess, was like a changeling. Bro got catfished. Yeah, pretty much. And. Um, <laughs> and uh, Basically, it was all, like it was all just like not even like 
I don't know how to explain it. But basically, then the, now they're, you know, these kids. He, he basically had children, though. And, like, basically the children are now, one of them was raised, like, very evilly under, like, the old leader. And so he's the current, like, ruler or whatever, or, like, prince of that kingdom. So I'd like to go back and, uh, you know, that, like, reclaim, reclaim, you know, yeah. the kingdom. But also, uh, my mom and dad don't like that I ran away. So that's cool. Damn. Interesting. Yeah. Interesting. That's tough. Yeah. So quite Rough, the, quite the endeavor. So I, yeah, I begin to kind of tell Arthur about, you know, my relative and all the stuff that's happened. Um, and we will relay that to him later. But yeah, I don't know exactly what parts he wants me. I mean, he he shared a decent amount last session of his yeah. backstory. Um, so I'll be like, yeah, he'll be like, yeah. I mean, I I told you guys, I'm in a little bit of trouble from Ekron, which is why uh, there's a bounty on my head, most likely. There's that one guy where I just wasn't okay with the uh, the job that was given to me. And when I refused, uh, I mean, kind of new information that I shouldn't. So we're in this bit of a situation. And I, I don't expect him to, like, go out of his way to help me just because I opened up to him or anything right. like that either. Right. Okay. Uh, as far as my own, <clears throat> you know, capabilities, uh, mostly, actually not mostly, I don't even have a ranged weapon, but I'm quite the frontliner, and I um, kind of, uh, you know, control control my, my sword very smoothly through the battlefield and, and uh, you know, uh, seek opportunity, you know, I find opportunities in my opponent to strike vital vitally, I don't know. As well as me awakening my my tattoo, which uh, I can't do till tomorrow, but that gives me a bit of range. And uh, like like you said, like I said before, it's kind of like this dragon tattoo coming from my shoulder that uh, reaches down to my my blade when I fight. That's pretty cool. I guess I see. I mean, it's like, I didn't describe it very well. I would imagine, even though my token doesn't show it very well, maybe I have like a revealed shoulder kind of armor thing where it's kind of like one one long, one long, um, like arm length robe part, but the other one is like completely bare. So it's just like a bare arm with like a tattoo. Uh, okay. Kind of hot. Spicy. <laughs> yeah. Um, and that, uh, I'd like to find more magic um tattoo people to give me more magical tattoos I, I find them you know very uh useful on the battlefield okay okay anyone else want to open up uh well, I am a big robot. <laughs> <laughs> well, for me, I've, uh, you see my, like, like, shoulders shrink, my head, you know, tilt down a little bit. I've just been, you know, just roaming around by myself, just trying to, I don't know, make myself seem like a better person, try to do some kind of good in this world. I kind of uh, kind of ruined my future a little bit, you know? Whoa. Some mistakes in my past. And I'm just just trying to put a good foot forward, as I said before, you know? I, uh, I dabble in necromancy. I know that's, you know, seen as evil. Uh, morally questionable. Morally questionable, <laughs> yes. But it's 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 really not all that bad. And one of the things I really want to do is, you know, open everyone's eyes to the art of necromancy. 
because you know, it's it's not all evil. Me personally, I'm not evil. At least I don't think so. I might be stupid, but I'm not evil. And I really don't think that kind of magic is evil. Was I kicked out of Etrochal? I can't say that name correctly. Academy because I was testing some necromancy on other students. Maybe. Was it very frowned upon? <laughs> Maybe. By other students, you meant like they were they were already like deceased or? No, 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 no. Oh. Just you know, there's. Just, Did they just, just... after the fact. I mean, it got close. <laughs> oh, I'm, not, I'm not gonna deny that. <laughs> You know, but I, I was a young kid. I had a curious mind. And I paid dearly, you know. I got uh, I got kicked out of the academy. I uh, lost someone that was, uh, and you see, chokes up a little bit, that uh, was extremely important to me. So I... Uh, I'm just really doing all that I can to, you know, prove to people, myself, uh, my parents, that uh, I'm, I'm, not, I'm not a bad person. I'm not. I'm really not. And I really want to prove that to other people. Even the uh, powers that be at the Academy who... Didn't really think I deserved that second chance, even though the mistake was wrong. I learned from it, but I did, I did pay. So I'm really, uh, I'm really looking to do some good in the world and find people that are in that same mindset. You see, you know? she on like have a single tear run down his face. <laughs> a very compelling story. Oh, thank you. I'm crying too. But yeah, you know, it's 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 been rough, you know. I've been going town to town, you know, helping as many people as I can. I don't give a shit about money. I really don't. I care about knowledge, things that I can learn. But you know, deep down, I'm happy as hell, you know, that uh. I'm with you guys doing some things, but you know, we'll see. We'll see what happens. I'm hoping that we can do some good together. You should give me your money then. I still need to live. I barely have anything. And what? What? First of all, I'll someone touch his shoulder, robot man. What the hell are you gonna do with money? I have certain. I have a very specific set of skills. Can you double my money for me? No. What are You'll skills? find out. <laughs> Alright, well. Uh, I'm going to pop my raven back on his head. We definitely will see. I uh, guess I'll go next. Hi, my name's Neri. Uh, obviously, I know Arthur, just meeting you guys. You know, haven't been in, like, traveling like, a part like this before, so it's kind of cool. Uh, have I introduced you guys to uh, Zakun? Um, and as I say that, my little dragon uh, comes up from the table and hops up on the table. No, we have definitely not met. Yeah. This little guy here is about uh, eight months old now, so he's... Real, real young dragon. Uh, been a care of him ever since he was born. I think he thinks I'm his dad or something like that. But um, I don't know. Just trying to, I guess, figure out where he came from. That's that's kind of kind of what I'm trying to do here. Uh, what, other than that, what color know, is the is it orange dragon? Orange. orange. Oh, it's all oh, true. It is a trap pinch. <laughs> where, where, where did you find him? Uh, so, funny story, my teacher actually, uh, had this in his house, uh, before he went missing. Uh-huh. Yeah. 
uh, so I'm kind of, you know, on like a journey to kind of find out what happened to my master and uh, find out why the hell he had a uh, baby dragon in his house. <laughs> Dollars, your voice has changed. The, uh, <laughs> his morning the voice ran out. <laughs> <laughs> I'm talking through a cup. That's why. <laughs> it seems like we got a decent little party here. Uh, yeah, yeah. Based off that, you know, little scuffle we got into. What was it earlier today? Yeah. Yeah, I think I think we have a good chance. You know? Did any of you guys see my sweet flip? Uh uh, <laughs> uh I didn't no, I think I might have missed it, actually. Sorry. That's a shame. That's a shame. See, it's a good thing you did. Trust me. How's your ankle, dumbass? It's still fucked. <laughs> oh, I I don't believe I was in town when you must have done that. Um and I, I you know I heard him ask about his ankle and I like look at it. I'm like, oh, uh, did you uh, trip this? Are you looking at me? No, I'm looking at his ankle. Well, I guess. Well, that's a good question. That's a great question. How is there any visible damage to his ankle still after? I mean, I kill wounds him. He's fine. Yeah, it might be just like slightly swollen, but he's yeah, fine. He'll yeah, live. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, <laughs> Make sure uh, you'll ice that overnight. It'll heal good tomorrow. We can go uh, head over to the windmill. His whole fucking bone was out of the leg when I treated it. <laughs> oh my <God>. Jesus. <laughs> oh, man. Alright, well. It's alright, you guys. I'm gonna go hit the hay, because I'm fucking exhausted, and my goddamn ankle's killing me. Do you want me to do my little story thing quickly? We'll just say oh. that it came out in discussion. I'm not going to do the voice because that would take so long. Um, no, no, so... <laughs> no, I'm not going to. Otherwise, you have to do the voice for everything you say. I kiss my ass. Yeah, exactly. Um, so I, um, I don't know how much you guys know about like the creation of Warforged, but I was like a bit of a misprint. That's why I'm like all, like my neck is. I don't have a neck, and I'm like a bit shrunken. <laughs> <laughs> and so I was still all like, still all like molten and shit inside, and I was like, "Whoa, what's going on here?" Because I just gained sentience, and um, I got some like bit bit of like divine intervention, and um, like, like kind of fucked off from the Warforge factory, um, and the like divine intervention to like start my life. I suppose. And um, now I try and fix things that are broken like me. And how, long, how long have you been working here? Uh, like a year, I would say. Um, I sought out the Forge of Spells <clears throat> and Gundren made me his apprentice and has not showed it to me yet. Um, and when I say fix broken things, I don't just mean like artifacts. I mean people as well, which is why I'm a cleric. Even though I don't really understand people that well. <clears throat> and that's me. And I like going into old places and finding things and fixing them up. And uh, I probably want to go back to where I was like created and see what's going on there. And that's it. And now we can go to bed. I guess I will try hey, and uh, find my quarters. Okay. Um, so, Golis. So, Bomberin, you're going to go back to your place, I assume, correct? So, yep. you're fine. Golis, where will you be resting? Yep. At the end. That will cost six silver. And that will be paid. Okay. As for you, Xion, um, you had been told. I mean, you you know about this building that supposedly exists in town. 
that supposedly you're supposed to be able to use. <laughs> supposedly, supposedly. Supposedly, you're supposed to be able to. Yeah, I know. It. Um, and so it takes you a while to find. You had been told like very general descriptions about it, like that. First of all, it's on the very edge of town. It's fairly isolated, and it's about 15, 20 minutes out from town itself. Okay. And you're able to eventually find it. As you get there, you do notice um, it's been a while since anyone has actually cared for the building. Um, so it is quite dusty and um, weathered. Um, if you'd like to go in, go ahead and use your key. Okay. Uh, do I actually need to like no, you use can it? Just from like my... say you use the key. Okay, I use this here key. So as you go in, and see if it opens. Um, uh, yeah. So it does open. Wait, Where do, do I know who this key came from? You probably would have gotten it from your dad. Who? Oh, I thought this was. Oh god, my alarm. Sorry, hold on. <laughs> okay, I figured this was like from like the bounty guy. No, yeah, okay. so this key would have been from your dad, who got it from his dad. Oh my gosh! How big of the place is it? Uh, it is fairly large. Um, okay. It is very dusty. To the point where, like, your eyes kind of start to water a little bit because, like, you're gonna have to fucking clean this place. Um, first chance you get if you're ever if you want to stay here. Um, okay. It's gonna take like a few days of cleaning to clean this place. Okay. Um. Actually, how can I do this? Uh, let me see here. I need to do this. Nope, not that. I do this. And then I believe I do this. Okay, so now just you are on this scene. Correct? You can see this? Uh, no, it's all black because I don't have token vision. Okay. I, I only have token vision, rather. Oh, I think I know why I did that. Okay. Now you can see it. Okay, yep. So it's on a bit of a hill. Um, it is oh quite God. the building. There are quite a bit of rooms. You notice that there are um, there's a couple guest rooms. Some mm -hmm. guest rooms carry, you know, a few more beds than the others. There is one master bedroom, which you could, of course, choose. There is quite the large bathroom. And then there's, of nice. course, uh, some very large uh, dining rooms and just general living rooms. Yeah, this is a nice place. I got to spend some time but, cleaning this up. Yeah, it is very dirty, very uh, dusty. So you could probably rest here fine for the day, but for future, um, yeah, you're going to have to clean it up <laughs> <laughs> if you don't want to get sick. All right, sounds good, sounds good. Okay. So. Okay. So that is that. So everyone good then with your middle of the day naps? Full rest? So during this middle of the day nap, I have a thing that I would like to do. I'm going to assume my six hours sleep is done. Um, actually, I'm going to do it before my six hours sleep. You know what? I'm going to do it before. Okay. So, all right. As, as a Forge Cleric, my channel Divinity lets me create an item that is worth up to 100 gold. It can be... A simple or martial weapon, a suit of armor, 10 pieces of ammunition, a set of tools, or another metal object. I'm going to focus on this last one, another metal object. Also, partially, a suit of armor, but we'll go for it anyway. Um, so you lay out the uh, <clears throat> the money and you transform it into this thing. Um, okay. As a warforged, um, I integrate armor into my body instead of donning it. Um, 
and I do this like over a course of a one hour ritual. Um, I would like to make the front half and right arm of a set of splint armor. Um, splint armor costs 200 GP, but I only want to make half of it. Um, and yeah, that's what I want to do. So, do you already have armor? Uh, I do chainmail. So, is made to, that is worn over quite flexible. So, you already have armor. I have so, to. Yeah, so you can yes, only have I do one already armor, have armor at a time. Yes, I can only have one armor at a time. I can carry this one though in my bag. Oh, so you just so want to carry this I would be carrying half of a suit of splint armor. So you just want to carry this in your bag for now? Yes, for now, until I make the other half, and then I integrate both halves onto me, probably separately, because they're, like, a front half and a back half. I integrate them onto my body, and they, like, stick on, and no one can take them off except me. Um, and then, effectively, it should form a suit of splint armor. Because okay, I, I stick it onto my body, you know? That, that is sick-ass fuck. That is 200 gold pieces, and you said you can do up to... Oh, you're, I want to do, do it half at a time, okay. though, because I can. the, the max okay. is 100 GP. Okay, interesting. Okay. Um, um, so, can I add half a suit of yeah, splint armor to my inventory? Awesome. And that consumes my 100 gold. I'm now... Broke. That's using your channel divinity. Yes, it is. But then I go to sleep. So yeah, I, yeah, I just need to write it down for my notes. Okay. What was that from? How did how did you do That's that? That's from his Forged subclass. Cleric and w being a warforged. My channel divinity is like not combat use. It's like um, you make stuff. So That's I'm cool. making half a suit of armor. It's kind of uh. It's debatable how uh, rules as written it is, but I think it's cool. Um, so I'm gonna, I tried it and it worked, so it's all good. Interesting. Okay. Okay. I'll be right back. So with that, you guys have ended up taking your rest. Anyone else need to do anything during the rest? Uh, I'm gonna turn my dragon into lightning. Okay. That's the only thing I was gonna do. Anything else anyone wants to uh, do? What electric moves does Trap Inch get, mate? <laughs> <laughs> are we playing Pokemon? Are we playing Pokemon Rules as Written? <laughs> well, there isn't the ground. It can't turn into a ground type. But shut up. <laughs> now I'm curious. I need to know if it does learn any electric moves. It's it definitely oh, does Flygon not. gets thunder punch. Flygon does. I don't know what Trap Inch does. Maybe it gets thunder yeah. fang. Yeah, it really? Uh, thunder fang, maybe. Um, it, it would keep it three evolutions if it did. Nope, nothing. Uh, I don't think it gets any fang moves. Maybe yeah, fire. No, we get fire punch, not fire nothing. fang. Yeah. Only fire move it gets is sunny day. Okay, with that, so no one has anything else correct? Uh, nope. okay. no. Okay, with that, you guys wake up from your middle of the day long rest. It'll be around 9 p.m. then. I thought we were doing, like, I thought we were just going to take a nap, like, at the end of the day. I thought we yeah, no, I thought we were, like, like talking. Oh, you guys, oh, okay, okay, okay. okay so, oh, you guys, yeah. so you guys wanted to, to wake yeah. up next morning. Okay, okay. Okay, yes. okay, okay. Just making sure. Okay, sure. So you guys next day are heading out then. Interesting. Correct. Um, are we? Am I like me? Have I met with the party yet? Because if so, I have some good news. So you guys, where do you guys? I mean, I don't know. You guys probably talked about meeting up. Um. Maybe you guys talk yeah, I mean, about meeting up. We can, yeah, we can meet up, have breakfast quickly. Yeah, you could probably meet them at the inn, um, for breakfast. Yeah, that definitely works. Yeah, yeah, we could definitely say we do that. 
Okay. Before we start heading out. So you guys meet up at uh, Stonehill Inn in the morning. Uh huh. So go ahead at your table. If you had information or want to talk before heading out. Oh, that's where they should show up. Uh, I mean, we basically know where we're headed um, and what we gotta do for now. I'm like in my laundry room, but um, no, I just tell the party really quickly, like, oh, you know, I'm gonna spend the next few days, uh, like, during some time trying to clean up this, like, house that's mine, and uh, there's enough rooms for everyone to stay, and I'll try and make it cleaner than the ro the rooms at the inn here, and I kind of glare at the innkeeper. <laughs> Dope, free house. This filthy goddamn. You will place. notice um, some hesitation from Arch about this. Um, he thinks you're gonna kill him. But yeah. Uh, let's go okay. find the cleric. So as you guys set out. Can I have one of you just roll a d20 for me, please? Who wants to do it? I'm oh, yeah. And lucky. You, guys, uh, you guys know that on here, there's like just a thing that automatically does uh, full rest or long rest. Yep. Yep. I know you know. I'm talking about the others. Oh, I'm just in the laundry room. I'll do it in a second. Okay. Um. Yeah, I'll roll the d20 if you want. One, two, three, yep. four. Who is it? Okay. Uh, seven. Okay. Ooh. And we all died. <laughs> Meteor crash. I mean, I think he was rolling for random encounters, which is seven d to twenty. So. Uh, who knows? You don't who knows know. though? Could be wrong. Who knows? You never know. Okay. With that, as you all head out. It takes about, like I mentioned, an hour to get to this hill. Um, the last part being the hardest, which is getting up the actual hill. And as you get up the hill, you're going to hear a woman screaming for help. And we're running. You guys come in from the bottom right where these like little stone pillars are those like clumps of stone okay i can't see anything i too am in darkness <sighs> why is it doing this i swear i set it up correctly okay if i drop your characters in how much can you guys see uh okay you guys can just... everything Everything? There we go. Yeah, that works. What do you mean by well, everything? I well, hope not. I everything. see inside here. Okay, you don't see I everything. See okay, okay, here. okay. You see, you see. I see some supposed... red things. Okay, That's not... see... you see what you're supposed <laughs> to see. You see what you're supposed to see. Okay, good, good. good. <laughs> okay, uh, yeah. Go ahead and place yourselves however you would like, um, upon yeah, that little that's... hill. Oh uh, well, I'm definitely gonna be in the back. I assume this man's is going to want to be up front. Um, <laughs> blah, 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 blah. Okay. Sorry, I'm just setting everything up. Sure. Sure, he says. Ooh, that's spooky. Spooky. 
No. We're gonna die. Is that like a manticore? I've never heard of such a creature. <laughs> Um, so... Okay. So yes, as you get up on the hill, as you guys reach the top, kind of a little out of breath, then you just hear a woman uh, screaming, um, Oops, coming help from help. this windmill. Um, what is this? I have no idea. <laughs> what have you done? Oh, four turns of combat where we will be walking to the enemies. <laughs> Great gameplay, yes. Oh god. What is the most range I have? 60 feet? Okay, with that... I know. Uh, I noticed we can't hide cursors from allies, but... They're not cursors, I mean, or rulers. Is that a setting? I don't actually know. That's not intentional. Uh, yeah. Okay, that's not intentional. I did, I'm not, I I'm not sure. Um, Anyways. So with that... Uh, oh, I should yeah. have changed my fucking spells. That was dumb. Oh well. Uh, yeah. Go ahead and roll initiatives. Wait, they see us? Well, you guys are running in, right? I mean, uh, some of I them. Guess you yes. Say that, yes. Yeah, yeah. I guess there is there is a problem. Uh, yes. <laughs> Big two. Yes. This man as well. I am, I am the Arthur. Oh no, I'm King. here. Wait, did you roll it for me? Or I, did no, I roll it? no, you did. Oh, okay. I said Arthur. You're not Arthur. Oh my bad, my bad. I am King of the Sea. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> Let me open this man's character sheet in the new tab. You guys have such high initiative. I have like a mod of four. What the heck? Ah uh, yes, my mod of negative one, <laughs> and Golus's mod of zero. Okay, with that, yeah, uh, Arthur, hearing the scream, will immediately start going in uh, thirty feet because that's all him you off. can do. Kill him off. What is his Imagine. And he will. He's like a little pouch on his side. So he will go ahead and start uh, preparing those, uh, the items in that pouch. Magic stone. Go ahead, Golas. I think Shion would go first because they have higher decks. But it oh. doesn't really matter because it's the first turn. No, yeah, probably. That makes sense. I originally had this thing in where it automatically did dex tiebreak where it did tiebreakers with dex but it was doing something weird so I, i'm i'm not sure i can look at it i mean yeah it's later. first time it doesn't really it's matter fine. it's fine oh. all right i'll move 30 feet so you can't cut through the pillar just as a heads up like a stonehenge thing uh, yeah there so those are so what are right those? here those are just rock piles, yeah. For some reason I can't move my goddamn guy. You should be able to. Game's Watch not paused. Are you on measurement or are you on movement? Check you're not on I, measurement. Uh, I, I see you moving, Shion. If you click your token and use your arrow keys, oh, you should be able to move as well. I did not mean to move. How far was I? You I was like just three. like... Yeah, you moved three to the left. There we go. Yeah, there we go. Um, so let's see. I was trying to click. I know. Okay, don't worry about it. Son of Oh, I didn't bitch. put in your fist, did I? Okay, simply just have firebolt. I simply do not have shit. Oh, I think I can make it. I'll just add a versatile property. I forgot to do uh, that. I'll just move. I'll dash and move another 30. Okay. Let's move it right here. Start this shit again. Right about. And we'll go right there. Okay. So and you're going down the hill. Okay. That's it from you then? Yep. Shion, go ahead. 
We do a little dashing. A little dash. Oh, the, oh, there's a fence. Okay. Yes, there is a fence. Okay, that's it. Nary, go ahead. <laughs> no, such inquisitive I mean, uh... gameplay. <laughs> right. I'm sorry, uh, I don't have a hand crossbow. I'm guessing these pillars provide like half cover. For, like, yeah, yeah kind they of, like, can provide some them. cover. Yeah. Okay. Uh, well, I'm gonna take for a for everyone else. They would probably be half. For you, they oh, would probably... cover. Hell yeah. <laughs> for you, it would probably be like three quarters. Yeah. Okay. okay, I'm gonna take a pot okay. shot at the orc. Okay. Uh, da -da -da. Oh, I need to fucking put ammunition on my bow. Oh, does it ask for ammunition? Oh, whatever. Yeah. <sighs> Stupid see. thing. Work. No. God damn it. Okay. Okay, that's uh, stupid. Um, I can change that, or you can. I... Summary Dragon's Wrath. Edit item. Details. Uncheck ammunition. Okay, try it now. Try it. Okay. No. Nope. Are you serious? Maybe I need to redo it? I don't know. No, yeah, it still says I need ammunition. To consume ammunition, but no resources specified. What the fuck? It shouldn't require ammunition. Um, ammunition magical arm. I mean, I still have my old longbow in my inventory. Yeah, I if you wanted to send that. that one, maybe I shouldn't have yeah. deleted your... No. Uh, oh, no. resource consumption. Needs... Here it is, here it is. Okay, okay, now try. Okay. Okay. Now it's sending it? That's... Oh, yeah, there. Okay. There we go. Stupid thing. 19? 19 will hit, yes. Yep, yep, nice. yep. Six plus three. Okay. That's like nine damage. Cool. Um, and then my dragon's gonna dash. Uh, there. Eighty feet. Oh my lord. You got forty feet of movement. Jeez, fuck! I forgot about that. <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah. So where where did you aim on this guy? Oh, ser word seriously. <laughs> I mean, you're uh, I mean from, I'm, I'm just curious where you're aiming. I mean, from this range, it's just body shot. I'm not okay. going to call a shot or anything. Okay. Sent from 125. Mass. Yeah. <laughs> All right. The orcs, um, so they've been just like banking on the windmill with their, uh, what, what do they have? It should just be like basic gear if it loads. Yeah, they just have, you know, basic equipment they've just been banging on the windmill trying to get the woman that's in there to uh get out they're banging um, on the windmill yeah uh so they will seeing you guys uh seeing how the banging doesn't do anything they will start to move uh i don't know if you guys saw them but there were a couple from behind so that's 20 feet here and then another and there this guy he will come over here and then Shion he is going to throw a javelin at you how do I um for my ruler tool how do I like make it go around corners I thought it was space but space makes me move. uh I like believe right it's click? control control right click yeah from my experience control usually works what do you mean by that? Like Usually, I hold if, it. Yeah, you hold. Uh, I believe you do control before you use it. Is what it was. So he throws the javelin and it gets stuck in the fence right next to you. Uh, so he misses. Uh, you will see that from. Uh, I think most of you can't see it, but coming out you will notice this giant manticore will start coming out and it will go ahead and fire off some tail spikes so i need 
Uh, let's see here. One, two, perfect. So there's going to be three tail spikes. Two and three. Okay. So the first tail spike, it gets sent all the way to Golis. And it's going to hit you dead center in your solar plex for a nice crit dealing 10 damage to you, Golis. Uh, um, let's reaction shield. So this oh was a God, you're bank. Yeah. This was a crit. I, I did say that. Oh. Yeah, <laughs> Just as a heads up. Oh, yeah. Did you get your AC to, like, a minimum over, like, 21? <laughs> if he has no mod and on the attack. 21. The second oh, spike yeah, so went towards Zakun, and it did hit him. It, it no. hit one of his little stubby legs. How um, dare you. Sat luckily, it's not a crit, so that's going to be four damage to Zakun. Okay. And then the last one, it went towards Xion, and Xion, you were able to, like, slash it with your sword, so it split in half and uh, didn't hit you. That's it. But it was, like, a very close call. With that, Bomrind, it is your turn. All right. Um, I would have my shield up and not my Warhammer, <laughs> and I'm going to come over here... Um, and I'm going to cast um, Guiding Bolt on the Manticore. Okay. Oh, there we go. Oh, it's a nat, nat one. one. That Ooh. is a nat one. Roll the nat one table. Um, Boulder Fumble Table. Execute macro. All Question right. mark roll. So you feel the magic start to come out of your hand. Uh, your magic comes out of your hand, right? Or your... um, yeah. So as you yeah, try sure. to, as you start casting the guiding bolt, and you notice like little star sparks start to fly out of it, um, and you uh -oh. kind of like zap yourself. Uh -oh. You have a disadvantage on your next attack roll. Okay. Um, that's my turn. Okay. Arthur. I'm going to the top of the fucking <laughs> initiative all the way to just that one. That's so sad. <laughs> all right. Arthur will go ahead. I'm on ruler. Uh, yeah, Arthur is going to come up here. He's going to go down the hill, and he's going to go ahead and send some of those, uh, Stones towards that orc. Do these fences not provide any cover, <clears throat> or do you have to be like close to it, or what? If you were it's closer, like a picket fence. Yeah, if it, if you were closer. <laughs> um, so he tries to th send uh, send some of those stones towards the orc, but the orc is able to just carefully dodge them, matrix style. Um, with that, I believe he also gets he technically does have his bird up. Um, Bird up. Yeah. I guess I should show that. There's the bird. So the bird has a strike. So the bird, like, sends one of its mechanical feathers towards the orc as well. And that mechanical feather just slices the orc's neck. Uh -huh. Uh Killing that orc. Yep. So that's one time. Wait, 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 wait. Yeah, so this, this little bird that Arthur just carries around with him, it sent a mechanical feather out. Like, I mean... You've probably seen it in like anime or something, where just like a bird feather, like like hawks in My Hero Academia, and just slices the orc's neck. That's pretty hot. 
Uh, with that, it is Golis's turn. Right. I am going to use... Let's see. Yeah. Will you... How far is that? We'll use Ray of Sickness on this guy. He's dead. He's dead. <laughs> oh, that's the dead one? That's the dead can one. You, can you bring him back as a zombie? <laughs> uh, uh, Alright, we'll move right here. And then we'll use Ray of Sickness on the ugly. And we'll do it at... We'll do it at second level. Okay, go ahead. I suck. So that is a 13. That does not hit. You try to cast this spell, and the beam goes towards the manticore, and it just starts flapping it, its wings, and it dissipates the beam. Your beam is not strong enough to reach the manticore. All right, and now I'm going to move back. Okay. And that's it for me. All right, Xion. Okay, I'm going to <clears throat> start my turn. Uh, as you see, uh, I kind of, I don't know, maybe bolster myself. Uh, in like a, a different kind of running style of sorts, maybe, as I kind of Naruto maybe running. like run, run, no, not Naruto running, maybe I'm like running low to the ground. Maybe like Naruto running. Back yeah, maybe, yeah, yeah, maybe like Naruto running. Yeah. No. <laughs> yeah. I don't want a Naruto run. <laughs> That's unfortunate. This is going to be the joke um, for the whole campaign. <laughs> okay, but no, I'm just like running low to the ground and like, I don't know, I do like a running slash. Uh, How do you run low to the ground without bending over and having your arms behind you? I'm not no, because I'm I'm holding my like sword, my sheath. Like I'm like I'm not holding, uh, you know. Yeah, sure so like a Naruto, Naruto character if they had a sword. They're, like, oh running, my like, fucking god! No. I mean, you, that's what you're describing. You're running low to the ground, bro. It's not my fault. <laughs> what are you Beautiful. fucking crawling on your hands? If I run and knees? thirty feet. Basically, I get five temp HP, and my next attack has advantage. Okay. And a hankering for ramen. <laughs> oh my god, I hate all of you. <laughs> We're gonna make this joke the whole campaign. <laughs> I'm not like, oh my god. Okay, 17 does hit, yeah. Okay. Wait, what the fuck? Oh, sorry, I rolled, did I roll attack again? My bad, my bad. I'm dumb as hell. Okay, damage, normal, there we go. Okay. Um, and that will be my turn. I'll pass over to Neri. Okay. Cool. So I'm going to have Zakun move a little closer up to that um, manacore. Oh, yeah. Still on this side of the yeah. um, fence. fence. I'm going to move up here. I'm going to take a pot shot at the manacore. Normal roll. 18. That does hit. Dope, dope, dope. Um, and I'm also going to use my Infused Strike uh, off Sakoon. Give me a little bit more damage on that. So, normal damage, 11, and then add. Oh, okay. I can't do that. Wait uh, until he gets Sharpshooter at next level. I don't believe No, I'm, I might take a different, I might take an even worse um, feat. That's a good choice in 30 feet of the Drake that it hits. Yeah. Can, uh, what? Crossbow Expert? No, okay. a bountiful luck. So that oh. is a total of 14 damage, okay. Yeah, and then that 3 is lightning, not that it probably matters. No. But... Nothing matters. <laughs> okay. And then my dragon's going to take the dodge action. Okay. Um, That's it from you? Yep. Alright. The orc that's further away will start coming closer to you. These two buddies are going to get out their uh, great axes and start swinging away at you, Xion. Fools, you can't get flanking on me because I'm epic. Actually, I think they could have, but they're dumb. 
they both rolled the same number. Okay. They both try to hit you. They both go in for at the same time, and their axes just clash with one another. <laughs> uh, so they don't hit. Wow, don't even get it, make me do anything cool. They're just dumb. All right, I see, how, I see how it is. I see how it is. What you want. Okay. Uh, just block, like, to block it. I don't, I don't know. With that, then, the manticore will go ahead and... Uh, yeah, we'll do that. Yeah, it will true. fly... It will start moving up. I was about to say. It's going to move up. Me. Oh, I mean, it's easier that you're there. It will proceed to then oh, fly windmill up. doesn't exist, no? What do you mean? Isn't the windmill, like... The windmill is right this... Here? The, is, no, that's not oh. the windmill. This block building. Oh, I'm just behind some kind of stone thing. The, yeah, that's right. just stones. Okay. After it gets to where it is currently, it's going to fly up. And then it will pass over everything and come over here. And it's going to send out three more tail spikes uh, to Arthur, Bomrand, and Neri. I have cover, remember. Do you, though? Do you really? How high in the air is he? <laughs> it is every. It is so high up, it's like space station height. So he can't breathe and he dies of asphyxiation. <laughs> GG. Okay. <laughs> wow, okay. So the first tail spike goes towards Arthur. Um, and the little bird, this little bird that you guys just saw slice off an, <laughs> an orc's neck. Um, it musters all its power as it saw the manticore do for that ray of sickness and it makes uh flaps its wings and causes the tail spike to divert itself into the fence into the bird and it dies the second tail spike uh hits the stone that you're hiding behind nary hell yes the third one actually does manage to hit you bomberant oh my god and it like launches itself and kind of gets stuck in your metal, and that's going to be for eight damage as this tail spike uh, sticks inside of you. It's the only hit I will take this campaign. <laughs> no. Uh, I just did do that. Okay, Bomberman, go ahead. Um, how high up is the Manticore? It's about like thirty feet up. Um, From your okay. position, though. It is about 20 feet higher than you. Yep. But from right. the ground that, like, from Golas and Arthur, it's about 30 feet. Yep. I'm going to go here, and I'm going to cast Bless on Golas uh, uh, and Neri. Okay. Oh, thank you. Uh, what Bless do again? Uh, D4 to everything. Nice. So the there creatures you go. Be in the thing. Whenever a target makes an attack roll. Okay. Um, and that's my turn. Okay. I'm gonna find something and I can't find it. Haha. <laughs> Fun. Okay, whatever. Um, okay, that's your turn. It is Arthur's turn. Not liking how uh, this thing is a bit close. He will back up uh, ever so slightly. And he will then go ahead. Is that, wow, okay. Yeah, he's going to send more magic stones towards this thing. Chuck some stones. And he grabs some of those stones, throws them at it, and he is able to do max damage at 10. Nice. Got some of those heavy stones. And then little Birdo is able to send a feather towards Manticore. So let's see how much that will do. If it hits uh, that, one feather does manage to make it. 
and that is going to be for four damage as that slices the manticore's uh, leg. Go ahead, Golas. A oh boy. So that thing has taken damage. I'll use Toll the Dead. Okay. Wins. Just keep this open. That's probably Damage. what I'm gonna do. Uh, I don't think it's. Um, I can just click that? the one d twelve, right? Yeah. It has yeah. to make a whiz save first. Feel was the thing. Yes. Okay. I succeed. It fails its save as it starts hearing that little bell. Uh, of yours. Oh, that's a tickle of damage. I like to think that Golus has no bell and he just goes, Ding dong, ding dong! <laughs> <laughs> Terrifying. And it's just so annoying that it takes damage. Okay. <gasps> so that is four damage from that. Okay. And then, um, you know what? Let's, let's very much get the fuck away from this thing. You can never escape. And that'll be it for me. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> it's my turn. So I didn't get hit at all. Which means you I still have, have my not gotten HP. hit, correct. Uh, okay. Then I will... Maybe this is time. Well... Takes my bonus action to do that. <clears throat> but it's a lot of damage when I do it. It's kind of epic. Alright. It's kind of epic. I'll use my bonus action to invoke my Eldritch Claw tattoo. So okay. now, uh, if I hit, I deal an extra d6, and I effectively have like a range of 15. And then I will attack the one who have already attacked. That does hit. Okay. I'll reroll. I, I can reroll both, right? Or is it just one? The, it's, it's, I believe we talked about it's a specific. It says one die. It's it. the dice that rolls. Yeah. Um, you can reroll a one the or two. die. So one. Oh, I can do both, though. If I just yeah, roll, if a, one you roll a, a one or two. Or damage for yeah, two. okay. So I'm just going to reroll damage on that. All right. I think you have to take the new roll. That's fine. Yeah. I mean, I rolled two ones. <laughs> okay. So that's a nine. Okay, and then, so that and then I get that a D... I, oh, it does? Without the D6 of force damage? Okay. That does, yes. Okay. Then, so how do um, you want to finish this guy off? Uh, I'll just say, like, my, you know, my little dragon inky tendrils uh, will, you know, kind of grab him at, like, one shoulder and then in the other shoulder I kind of just impale with my okay. uh, Odachi. Okay. And then as I uh, pull my blade back out I will attempt to attack again by using my action surge. Okay. Damn it. No. Ooh. As you right. go for your strike it hits the rocks that are right next like the that are right next to you. And uh, that will be my turn. Mr. Nary. Okay. You said this manicure is like 30 feet up in the air? Yes. Okay, so my dragon's gonna get. I mean, I'm not gonna do it, but he's gonna be like right underneath him. Okay. Just so you can see him. So that he's within 30 feet. Um, I'm actually gonna move to this rock. Not that it really matters. And then I'm gonna <laughs> take a shot. You know how it goes. No. No. Uh, I'll take that. Okay, yeah, that yeah, hits. 21. Yeah, that hits. Okay. It definitely hits. <laughs> yeah. Four, and then also Six. infused strike. God damn. Yeah. Yep. 
Okay. 13 so total. 13, yeah. The plus one is from the plus one weapon. The three would be dex. The two would be archery. What's the last two from? On... Um, that adds to your attack roll. I... Hmm. I'm going to guess uh, proficiency. Or what's it called? The what's oh. it, Not proficiency. You know what I'm talking Um, Yeah, proficiency. Yeah, proficiency. Plus one magic weapon, plus three for mod, plus two for archery, plus two for... Oh yeah, you add your fucking proficiency to attack rolls. Yep. I haven't yeah. played a melee character in so long. You so, were just a melee sure. character. I'm just a caster. I know you had Eldritch Blast, but you out of my brain. used your sword. Alright, that's it for me and then. then. Dragon takes the dodge action again. Okay. This last orc... Uh, well, I mean, it's pretty obvious what he's going to be doing. He will, uh, not very happily, go ahead and use his great axe. Say, this is for the boss! And he will go ahead and swing with all his might, and he will hit. Finally, goddamn. <laughs> One damage. And Max damage, damage, 15. As this Jesus. guy puts all his fury and starts swinging at you. And it get um... It, it hits quite a bit into your uh, shoulder. So 15 damage onto you, Xion. And, uh, and that took from my temp first, right? Yes. Or do you want me to reduce my, my health? That would take from your temp first. Okay. So I removed a 5, and then I take 10. This guy ain't happy at all. The Manticore says you just uh arthur and bomber and since you guys are closest you can just hear it growl fresh meat as i'm a robot fucking idiot fresh oil fresh oil as it eyes goalless oh shit. who it injured quite heavily from its first attack and it's going to target Golas. So it's going to fly That's down tough. to Golas. And Golas, it will go ahead. Uh, that's not loading. It will go ahead and it sat down right next to you. It's going to go ahead and start making attacks on you. So it's going to go ahead and start trying to bite you. The bite hits. That is an 11. Well, let's do that. The shield is sadly not enough to protect you from this oh, bite. Boy, we did. Oh. You actually go down? He uh -huh. actually is down. That is correct. Damn, bro. That's tough. Seeing that he went down, the Manticore turns around at you, Bomrand, and mm -hmm. it will go ahead and use the rest of its movement, because so far it's only used its flight. So it will yep. use the rest of its movement to go to you. It can move there. And it will use its two claw attacks on you. All right. The first one, it scratches you, but it doesn't, like, do anything. Nope. The second one, after the first one was kind of more of a test, seeing how, how durable your metallic armor is. It really is. rolled a 22. It did roll higher. a 22. Yep. Damn, bro. Yep. Hit twice is very low odds for that. And with that, it uh, it's going to do four damage as it scratches your metallic armor. Alright. Body wanted meat, dude. What's going on? Ooh. It got its meat from uh, goal is going down. <laughs> okay. Bomber, go ahead. Okay. Um. Hmm. Um. This thing doesn't have any metal on it, does it? Snoring armor or anything? No. 
Okay. Um, I am going to cast uh, Searing Smite. Um, and then I'm going to smack it with my hammer. Okay. So I cast Searing Smite, um, and then I pull out my hammer, and then I smack it. Uh, okay. Uh, uh. Damn, that is tough. That's only a four. Yeah, that is tough. Tough cookie. Ten does not hit. Yep. That's alright. That's my turn, I believe. Okay. Arthur, uh, seeing that this thing has gotten close, will go ahead and... Let's do that. You notice that suddenly the manticore is glowing brighter as Arthur casts fairy fire on it. That would have been helpful last turn. Well, it's happening now. Oh, God damn now. it, Lucky. What the fuck? <laughs> yeah, what a fucking idiot, okay, bro. I don't know if he wants me to use his spell slots or not, okay? But it's happening now. <laughs> Um, so let's see if it actually saves or not. Oh well, it saved. <laughs> so that's unfortunate. Uh, so that's that. Um, well, luckily we still have the MVP of this team, <laughs> the Aaron, the bird, as it sends its wings to go in for a strike. And that does hit. These wings, man, I'm telling you. Good is good. This bird, uh, it slices one of the other man of the manticore's other legs for six damage. Jesus, dude, this bird is gonna put in all the work on you guys' team. I swear. Um, Golas, go ahead and make the first death save of the campaign. Where do I go to roll that? On here? Great question. I don't actually know because this is it's um on your character sheet where you would like take a long rest and stuff. If you hover over it, it should just ask you to roll a death save. Oh yeah, like, over there's a little there's a big skull sheet. that just says death saves. Uh, I don't see a skull on your character image. There's a skull. You have to mark him as unconscious first, or no? No, it, it, or I what? mean I see, I see a skull on your on your image, on your character sheet. Like, if you hover over your, your character image on your character sheet. I don't even need to hover over it. There's just a skull, and oh. then on the left there's a check mark. On the right there's an X. I got nothing. What do you see? Um, here, close your... Uh, have you had your sheet open this I whole time? I just say, uh, inspiration, exhaustion, rest, and then hit dice. I just... I, I see something that says death saves. Uh, wait, have I you mean, alternatively, you can just roll a d20 I mean, yeah, it's just a d20. It in your brain. Yeah. It's just a d20. Okay, I, I had to reopen it. Oh, yeah, is still blessed. You see it wasn't updated, yeah. yeah. Is still Actually, blessed? yeah, you still have a d4 to your, um, thing, because I think Searing Smite didn't work, so... Actually, I don't know if that's how it works, because Searing no, Smite's concentration matter. as well. Okay, well, he yeah, so has one save. is no longer real. Okay. That's... He's got one save. Shion, it Which is. I probably should have thought about. Okay. I did, but it's okay. Um, I will once again uh, bolster myself uh, with five temp HP and give myself advantage. You can use and, this feature uh, three times, damn. Okay. Yeah. And you get back on short rest. Yeah. And then I will um, attack <laughs> with my. Odachi with advantage. Wow. Great advantage, huh? Uh, that still hits. <laughs> okay. Don't you have elven accuracy, or did you Not yet. No, no, next level. Okay, 11. Oh, okay. Uh, does that kill? No, that does not. 
Okay, then I get a d6 of force damage as my dragon tattoo do a little chomping. One. Okay. <laughs> huh? Yeah. As the inky tendrils come in and just start poking yeah. at him. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Okay. Um. Uh, I guess I'll. I don't want to take an opportunity attack. Okay, that's fine. Okay, Nary, it is up to you. Okay, I'm going to move here. I can't quite reach you with my movement, with my short little stubby legs right now. <laughs> uh, my dragon's going to move up next to him. I'm going to take a shot at the dragon with my longbow. Okay. Uh, I'm going to use my uh, bless okay. on that. Uh, where does that go? That's just a d4. How do you roll again on this? Just, just slash, slash r. r d4. Actually, didn't bless fuck off because I cast searing smite. Is searing smite a uh, concentration? Yeah, it takes concentration. Uh, yeah. then, but yeah. it didn't actually uh, work. But I think it doesn't matter if it worked or not. Um. Uh. I suppose that depends on. I think I, you... actually, I actually legitimately do not know the ruling for that. I think I would say that it, it you, me casting searing smite as a concentration spell. I think even if it failed, yeah, because you, yeah, because you would have had to still concentrate on blessing them, so it would have gone away. Yes. Yeah, I think so. So yeah, that would just be the ten. Um, okay. All right, brother. So that's not, yeah, it's not gonna hit. I sh I should have thought about that before I. So yeah, as you oh, as you send the arrow towards it, one of its wings just out of reflex blocks it, and you just see this thing start turning and growling at you. <sighs> uh, seeing that, my dragon's gonna go in for a bite then. Okay. Damn, that's no. Eh, that might hit. That does not. Okay. Man, I can't do shit this round. <laughs> All right. Uh, it is that orc's turn. He is not happy with you. Uh, why does he have two? What the fuck? Those are the exact same things. Okay, interesting. Um, yeah, so that orc's going to go ahead and send his great axe towards your shoulder, your other one. He's going to try to weaken you up. And he does hit... And you're going to take five damage as he slashes across your shoulder, Shion. I, uh, I can, like, put my, my, like, sword in the way, kind of, to, you know, block the, the, the attack to reduce the incoming impact, because, you know, I'm not Indigo's temp HP or whatever, right? Okay. So, uh, but, nice. As for the Manticore, it is not happy. Uh, first of all, Bomberin is not made of meat. This thing wants meat, and Neri's shooting at it. So it is not happy with Neri, so it's going to start moving towards Neri. Uh, Bomberin and Zakun can use an opportunity attack if they would like. Yes, sir. So, you want know, to go first, Bomberin? Yep. Yeah. Um, is it still fairy fired? It saved against fairy fire. Oh, okay. Well, I fucking rolled an eight, so I'm gonna <laughs> kill myself. <laughs> Jesus Christ, my guy. We're not doing well, bro. Just reflexively kicks it out of the way. <laughs> <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> it is going in for that nice bite. Oh, baby, in that 20. <laughs> Fuck me, dude. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> oh, my God. 18 damage. Okay, I'm alive. <clears throat> Are you, though? <laughs> Seeing that you're alive, it got a good taste of flesh in that nice bite. It's going to go ahead and use its claw attacks on you. So that's one claw. Uh, okay, it uses one claw, and luckily you're able to use your bow to block it from hitting you. The second claw 
however, comes in as you're blocking with the bow, so you aren't able to defend against that one. And you're going to take another four damage from that second claw. I'm still alive! <laughs> Huzzah! <laughs> one HP is all you need. <laughs> uh, Bomberin, it is your turn. <laughs> Fucking right, well, hell. I, um... Uh, um, I can't quite get to Golas, and I have no ranged healing, which is probably an oversight on my part, so I'll definitely be taking healing word when I change my spell slots. Um, but I'm going to come here under the manticore. Uh, so how's it, it looking? It, it's on is the it ground. It's like... on the ground, by the way. Oh, okay. Is it looking like, um, well, I'm going to come uh, here then, like from over here. Okay. Like. Uh, I didn't actually go under it and then go around. That's fine, that's fine. Um, how is it looking? Make a perception check. Um, that I can do. Nine, uh, 24. So, What's the exact HP it has right now? <laughs> so uh, those feather strikes from that mechanical bird of, ar of arches, along with some of those other attacks that you guys have made um, have dealt quite a heavy hit to this manticore. Um, it, a few more heavy hits should do the trick. Okay. Um, Neri, would you say you would be willing if I, like, fucking swap places with you, like, shoved you out of the way, kind of? Yeah, I'd be willing. Would that okay. provoke an... Well, no, would it be an opportunity attack? Nah, because it's forced movement, I think. Okay. Yep. So where would I go? Do we just swap places? Um. Yeah, pretty much. Okay. Yeah, I am down for that. <laughs> yep. Right, I'll... Wait, yeah, is that actually a thing you can do with, like, an action or something? Yeah. Um. What the heck? The battle master, like, uses a whole maneuver to do that. <laughs> I mean, it's my ally. So I can just ask him if he wants to... Like, yeah, I'm going to pull you out of the way. And he says, okay. And I pull him out of the way. It's like that with every force movement thing. Like, telekinetic, if your ally's willing, you can just do it. No save or anything. Um, so, Craft, would that be my action? Um, you guys just swap spaces, essentially, right? I mean, I kind of, like, pulled him to where I was and went to where he was. So I suppose if there's a way you want to rule it, it would kind of be like grapple dragging, but. Uh, well... But he's willing, so I, like there's no save or anything. It's just like. Oh. I would probably. Uh, yeah, it would probably cost an action. Yeah, it's your action. Yeah, I can't. I can't by chance cast healing, uh, cast cure wounds when I have my hands on him. No. Um, him. You know what? For rule of cool, because that's kind of cool, I'll allow that for this one time. <laughs> Just because that's cool, I'll let you do this. Usually I'm a rules layer, but when it benefits me, I am not. <laughs> it's cool this one time. <laughs> Uh, yeah, you, you just see this hunky get... chunk of Six metal bucks. come at you, grabs you, shoves you back as you just magically get healed. <laughs> nice. And that'll be my turn. My meat. <laughs> I'll say, my meat. <laughs> <laughs> my schmeat. Um, okay. With that, it is Arthur's turn. I don't want to use all his spell slots for when he comes back. <laughs> but, um... He will... Probably... He's got the magic stone bullshit. Just yeah, I know, I know. I had yeah. another idea that would be cool, but I, I don't want to use it because of spell slots. That's why. Um, he still needs to get closer. Oh my goodness. Okay, he's going to move up, and yeah, he's going to get some more of those magic stones sent out. Magic stones... All right, we got some good stones being sent at the wings. That's 60. I'm blind. 
What was I looking at? Okay, uh, he is able to chuck some stones at the wings of this manticore, dealing eight damage. And then mm -hmm. we've got Aaron coming in, flying in hot, uh, coming right there. That's fine. And then we'll go ahead and send in. This is different. Jesus fuck. Okay. Oh no. Okay. Yeah. No. That's that's correct. Okay. And some more of those mechanical feathers are coming in. Uh. This feather it tries to get in, but. This time, the Manticore is able to dodge the feather um, from Aaron. So it is Golas. Go ahead and make that second death save. Yeah. Don't, not one, please. Then you'll be right. God damn it, I have to close this out again. How do you rule not ones for death saves? Is it two. just two failures? Yeah, two. Or two failures. Two failures. Okay. Yeah, okay. that's that's way too cruel to instant kill. Yeah, so nat 1 is two failures, nat 20 is two saves. Goodbye, world. So that is one save, one fail. Now you could attack him to give him an instant fail. <laughs> <laughs> oh, sorry, he's got three attacks per turn, he could just... <laughs> Spikes all around. <laughs> Shion, it is your turn. Okay. Um, Second session. Mm -hmm. Goodbye, Golis. <laughs> Your dreams never came true. <laughs> okay, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna attack normally this time. Okay. Oh, that, that was bouncing on a three for a while. That was kind of crazy. All right. Um. I'll, How do you want to finish yeah. this guy off? I'm like in a hurry, like I'm seeing like out of the corner of my eyes Manticore like coming so I just do like a quick like thrust through like the abdomen or something and like pull back and then just like run like 30 feet forward. Okay. Uh, and that will be me. Oh actually, mmm. Oh uh, sorry, can, uh, at the end of my turn can I activate my, um, my final, hold on, let me make sure it's not until the end of the turn. Uh. You can give yourself that until oh until the end of the current turn. Okay, never mind. I'll do it next turn. Okay, go ahead. Nary. Okay. Uh, I have enough movement to kind of get around Bomberman and get to Gullis yes. without mm -hmm. getting close to the Manticore. I'm going to use my cure wounds on him. God bless you. Okay. <laughs> So, I mean, you're you're alive. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Uh, then Dragon Buddy's going to come over, take a chomp. Hell yes! Hell yes! Okay. Hog? <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Is that the first time that's ever happened? That must be new, because we did it before. I rolled two nat 20s already. <laughs> it didn't do anything, yeah. Well, yeah, because they're hidden. Yeah, I guess, I guess. Yeah. yeah. No, but um, we did it last yeah, session. I, I did it with last session for stuff. So, so that's... And uh, that's max damage. Okay, so then Wait, one more. double dice, or...? It's, it's uh, okay. one more. Two dice, yeah. Okay. So, one d6... Uh, uh, yeah. So that... Wait, wait. Wrong, wrong thing. Yes, <laughs> yeah, so you deal 23 extra damage. damage. Um... Okay, so that's a total that's of 10 plus... Crazy, uh, crazy you roll your hit dice again and add it to damage. <laughs> so that is 14. Zakun, very angry that <laughs> Golas went down. Your, your new buddy Golas went down. That you almost went down. It goes in. He makes the biggest bite of his life. What's he chomping at here? I mean, legs. <laughs> he, chomps a, he chomps a leg clean off as this Hell manticore... Yes. Bleeds to death. What? Oh, Hell yeah! <laughs> that is the end of combat. <laughs> Yo. <laughs> I'm like rushing over. Like I, I see fucking the final blow. I mean, I was dealing, you know, with my two enemies over here. So I, I just run over to Zakun and let him like, like, oh, you, you're such a good 
boy creature thing. You see him yes, like just chomping. Are. He's just chomping at this yeah. manticore like getting the meat off of it. <laughs> yes, yeah, Zikman's probably super high on adrenaline, so he probably takes a bite at you just accidentally. Oh, that, that little nibble. Oh, yeah. nobody. That was kind of dope. True. <laughs> <laughs> The summons did everything. <laughs> um, Honestly. You just hear from uh, a distance, so is that manticore taken care of yet? I guess I'll look back to the... the you just window. see a woman uh, in the windowsill um, looking out, watching you guys. Can we see like anything about her? Uh, she is a middle-aged woman dark hair uh what do i have here wow it gives no information well you guys can see the character token up top right um no no yeah i guess no yeah up here up here yeah it's yeah. like a, up there in that separate yeah. little oh, block. Okay. i know it's yeah. it's, it's yeah, no. interesting yeah, she's a, design yeah she's a bit of a milf <laughs> okay uh, oh wait how do i smell after my long rest yeah i mean i would i mean did I you take would. a bath in that house? Sure. I mean, slightly better. There's still a little bit, but it's like not as noticeable. Okay. Um, so is it taken care of? Is that manticore done with? I'm going to go over and just like kick it. Just the body flops. It comes back, back to reaction. life. <laughs> yeah, it just it comes back to life. <laughs> you all three it's of us me after death saves. You die instantly. <laughs> It's been reanimated. I think so. You just see her leave the uh, the second floor. It takes a second, but you hear some walks on the first floor before eventually she comes out. Uh, and we'll be waiting for you guys uh, out in front. I guess we go over question mark. I mean, if you yeah. guys want to do anything, do do what you like. Um. Oh well, I would I would ask who is going to talk to her because I'm not the most persuasive. I am, but I would imagine I might have like a negative one or a non mod because I'm just snowy. say it's from the blood of all the stinky orcs. Oh, uh, right. true, true, true. That you okay. killed. Like, yeah, I can style. go up, <clears throat> and I'll say, um. Oh, uh, we were we were passing by and we saw your your ta your windmill here was getting attacked. Um, let me uh you know like like take care of of these little like bodies and I'll, I'll begin to like move the orcs maybe near the manticore or whatever away from her her you know windmill. Um, while well, where I assume are we all going up? I'm gonna stay by the manticore. Okay. Well, I'm gonna uh hold on. Let me check the range on. I am going to start casting uh, Prayer of Healing. And she and you're too far away, so sucks to suck. You don't get any. Wow. <laughs> How long does it last? It takes 10 minutes to cast, and it gives you 2d8 plus 3 health. Can I, like, wait, just in, how big is it? Wait, it's just an instant, the range like, is like immediate? Range feet. That I can see, it takes ten minutes to cast, but then it is okay. Yeah, well, by the time it. I've moved all three or three orc bodies over, I would imagine I could stand. Yeah, next but to it, you. is the woman like following you, or are you just gonna shout to her across the hill, or? Um. Well, I mean, fine. I guess. I'll, I'll suggest, suggest that, that we fucking go over to the woman in her windmill home and we like talk to her. I'll suggest that to the group. Or you, or you guys go wait outside at the bottom of the windmill instead of near the dead. Yeah, but as long as we're like close enough that I can see you, we'll be in. We're in thirty feet. That's fine. There you go. Um. So we'll just like kind of chill over here, I guess, behind you, like the the squad behind you. And yeah. can I assume that we will be uninterrupted for ten minutes, and I can just cast the two d eight and okay. take the spell slot? Okay. Not that it'll matter, because we just are going to go rest, but, um, still. 
I want to do it. Alright, everyone can heal 13. Dope. I am full. Okay. Um, so I, after, you know, after I, I move the, the corpses away, I, I come back, you know, I, I get healed. Um, and, uh, my, those were uh, quite the lot uh, attacking the windmill. Are you alright? Uh, I, I guess I am now, now that that manticore is dealt with, finally. Were they uh, under any kind of command? Have they bothered you before? Very, very often. Usually, I'm able to chase him away by giving him slabs of meat. But um, mm -hmm. I've run out, and it was not very happy. So he uh, well, decided that... Uh, Seeing as I was not providing him any meat, he was going to attack me instead, and I was to be the meat. Um, it, that's kind of been the situation. It, the, that manticore has been attacking a lot of the various creatures in this area for the last month. Well, uh, I'm glad that you know, they're, they're dealt with now, and you do not have any reoccurring, you know, meat customer. Uh, have you uh, always uh, lived out here? I mean, so far, you know, away from town? Or... For most of my life, yes. And uh, what, what, do you, what do you do for, you know, for work out here? You'll notice she has, like, a satchel, and... She holds up. Well, uh, she takes out of, out of her satchel. Well, I make potions. Are you the... interested in buying? Or is... I assume that's why uh... you're here. Your adventures, I assume they told you, if you're from Fendalwin, that I'm where you go to buy potions. Ah, yes. Well, we, we did uh, inquire about you in town. However, um... Give me one second, I need to write the quest log. Uh, uh, uh. Ah, okay. Alright, I understand. Well, um... Shion is like pulling out the crumpled up piece of paper. <laughs> yeah, I'm reading, I'm reading the fucking, yeah. Uh, well, just, we, uh... You know, our party, uh... As soon as we're, we're capable, are uh, going to try and take down the the dragon. That's been quite the bother. But um, you know, I, if uh, he, the he Manticore was quite the trouble, I mean, if if the dragon came by to your windmill, uh, would you be able to protect yourself alone? Would you Would you want to move into town? I mean, if if the adventurers come and visit you for business anyway, I'm sure you'd be able to open up shop, no problem. Keep all the same customers, if not more. Go ahead and make a persuasion, persuasion check. You. Yeah, let's go. Ooh. That one, that one, that one, that one. Ooh. Look, I appreciate the offer. You're not the first to suggest I move back into town. I admit that with the threat of the dragon sure i probably it's probably better but my windmill is quite sturdy the those orcs and the manticore weren't able to climb up it or do any real damage to it but uh okay. manticores can fly why would i need to climb question mark <laughs> no wonder uh okay so as she says that, well, um, if you don't mind me asking, is it just your preference, or what, what is keeping you out here then? Look, I prefer to be by myself, and I enjoy the view here. In in town, it can be a little bit much. There's too many people. 
How far away is my little house from the main town? You're about 20 minutes out from town. And no other buildings nearby? Nope. What's the view? I mean, you're atop a hill. I mean, it's not as big as this hill, but mm -hmm. you're atop a hill. Mommy Cleric moves in with Shion. Well, <laughs> and how far are we away from town are we now at the windmill? You're an hour out. Okay. Well, I understand uh, wanting to be alone, but even if you're just a, a, a bit closer, I... Um, I kind of begin to, you know, like dangle the house key or something like that. Uh, there's a, a big estate I have uh, about 20 minutes away uh, from town on, on a, a hill. Um, not quite the same view, but after I clean it up, you could have, you know, a room all to yourself. You could even turn part of the uh, house into a storefront if you'd like. Um, I'm, I'm sure we won't always be looking for roommates. Oh, no, no, uh, we wouldn't be, you know, lodging too often, you know, we'd be out adventuring most of the time, but... Um... I still would prefer a place of my own. Okay. Full time. Uh... Anyone else want to try I... saying anything? Or... Yeah, I, I want to, I kind of want a uh, goal is to, to speak up or maybe kind of like discuss the information we learned earlier or something what's the status like with the status of the old tresendar manor has it been like rebuilt yes who's still in the manor we're talking about yes okay but you guys wouldn't oh. know that necessarily you so i mean you would pretty much just know it's a big fucking house yeah it's a big house. A whole you would know it that it's abandoned um you just don't know who's owns it if you i mean just town. give her the house bro like you don't give a fuck you don't really need it okay, that's that's my house i wouldn't know i'm new i'm new to town yes yeah, so oh, like, that, like, that's the, the the place you're speaking of uh hmm. i think um uh... I'll, I'll pull him to the side and say maybe Maybe thinking about maybe she purchases it, maybe rents it out. You know, you don't. All right, all right. I I have an idea, and I and I Me turn back, rent, rent it to her at like a discounted rate, and just say you won't be there, and you'll stay at the inn when you're in town. I uh, how about this? Free money, free money, uh, free money, and, free money. And, and I and I kind of um, maybe uh, no, I don't need a deal or anything. All right. I'll I'll turn back and I'll and I'll say, how about the place all to yourself as long as you would like. We'll never room while you uh while you're in town, as long I'm as you supply our. Huh? You, you well, said while well, she's in town, you're never gonna room there. Yeah. I'm well, always I mean, in, it's town. Not in town. Well, yeah, that's that's fine. Uh, but you maybe you're our. Uh, you're our go-to for, you know, supplying us with, with potions. It's, it's quite spacious, bigger than... I mean, Swindle. where else uh, would you be getting potions to begin with? No one in Fandolin can make potions. I'm the I only mean, one. I mean, it's common knowledge how to make potions in 5v. You can just make them yourself, can't you? You would need specific supplies. And if yeah, you don't if have, you have them, the supplies, yeah. you can just, like, make them. I mean, but if you're able to. Don't. Anyways, so, I mean, you're right, but it'd be quite the spacious place. You'd have, you know, a potion-making room, and you could even set up the storefront right there. Um, it would attract more business. Go ahead. Make at least come take a look at the... at the Make another persuasion. Know, the, and and, I'll, and yeah, I'll say, you know, come, uh, come take a look at the... Uh, the place. I... I guess I can at least take a look. If I must. Success! You really should have just asked for rent instead and got us free money every week. It's fine.
I wanted it to be like, you know, we're an adventuring party utilizing like a local supplier. It's like whether, you know, they put like some little engraving on the potion bottles or whatever. It's... Yeah, imagine if we utilized their gold instead though. Uh, we can still, I don't know, it's fine. Potions are very cool. Just make her pay rent in potions. That's what I was saying. Yeah, I was saying supply I mean, us and, and... Well, I mean, this fucking woman better be giving us discounts then. Alright, with that, um, you are going to lead her there then? Yeah, that's fine. I'll, I'll Does she say, have uh, nothing to bring from her windmill? No, she's just taking a look you, now. Yeah, oh, okay. you, you, your whole thing was on taking a look. Yeah. So, uh, and can I now, like, chop off the tail of the manticore and bring it with us? As you say, let's uh, scavenge this thing for useful <laughs> ingredients. You go, also, go do right the orcs ahead. have anything on them? I mean, the orcs had just very basic supplies. So, no. I take all of their great axes. Only two of the, uh, I think I said. Yeah, I take two all of, of their weapons and armor. Or what? Any, anything I can carry. Dang! What I a take chaotic. Er, no. What a, what a lawful good character. <laughs> yeah, bro. I'm a forge cunt. I'm gonna reforge them. Yeah. So. Is that your class, actually, forge cunt. Yeah, that's his yeah, subclass, forge cunt. Um. Jesus. So that is two great axes and two javelins. Okay. How do I add things to my inventory? Now then, Manticore. Who wanted stuff off the Manticore? Me as well. <sighs> of course. You, you wanted the tail, and I guess I'll get scraps. All right. After that. Yeah, you can take some stuff from the tail. Is there anything? I mean, I just want to take the whole tail and kind oh. of just be like, "Look, we killed the Manticore. You can okay. go out in the town, out in the out in the woods and shit now." Okay. Yeah. Go ahead. Um, add manticore tail. Okay, cool. Um, um, and then what do you want to take from the manticore, Neri? Um, actually, I probably can't take, like, blood. I don't have anything to hold it in, can I? I mean, I don't know what you have. How do uh, I, I mean, add... I could... Like full items instead of like the weird custom ones. I can add those in for you. That's fine. Yeah. Cool. I grab some teeth. Okay. Yeah, I'll, I'll just grab teeth. I guess that's probably all I can take. Okay. I don't know. It doesn't have like horns, does it? No. Because uh, it, it's, like it's a lion. Yeah, it's yeah. a lion. Okay. Harry Potter lied to me. How many teeth do you want? Like <laughs> just want. Uh, I mean, how many? How many can I get? Just want like <laughs> a roll couple for that. Want like a couple teeth? Yeah. Or, yeah. Okay. Yeah. I could do like three. Did the orcs have any armor, by the way, or no? No, it's just like fur, pretty much. Okay. Um. Okay. And it'll probably be all fucked up too. So. Yeah. That's all right. All right. With that, you guys are heading back into town. I believe so. Cool. As you head into town and you start making your way up to the manor, um, you will notice that Arch is very hesitant to go up there. And as you start um, climbing up this hill, yes. I probably wouldn't even go to the manor. I'd probably just go back to the forge and... Okay, so you want to just go... And... Okay tell Gundren what I've done so far and start, like, um, fixing these weapons if they're fucked up. Okay, that's fine. That I've um, so yeah, that's fine. Uh, Arch, seeing where you guys are going, uh, does not want to go there. I'm gonna go like, um, yo, what's up? It's like, you know, something happened in this area? Um, it's not exactly that. It's something I'm not ready for just yet. Fair enough. I don't need to pry. Um, uh, Arch and I will head back to the inn then. You guys want to <laughs> take her? Yeah. Get myself out of this roleplay. <laughs> Fun. 
So That's just well, Golas, Shion, and Adabrit going there. Then the I guess. way that you do it is you get yourself out of the role play by doing your own role play. Well, if Lucky was here, we would do yeah, it. Yeah, if Lucky play, was here, it'd be easier. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. I'm trying not exactly, to say yeah, exactly, too much because exactly. it's also Lucky's yeah. character. I mean, I can say yeah. what I know, um, and I'm trying to save some. Oh, you want to give me all your money? Oh, that makes sense. Okay. Yeah. yeah I'm okay. 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 With that, um, so you want to pledge three. your life and service to me? You all three right. go up there. Um, let's show just you three that scene. There, well, you two. Um. So, but I, I'll, I'll, as we're you know approaching, I preface it by saying, "Well, I've only cleaned off uh, one room so far. That I stayed in last night, but oh uh, shit, this place is a mess." What? Uh, once oh. I, you know, oh wait, I might. You not can see in the right. scene. No, I'm in the hills still. Did I put the wrong people here? Yeah. <laughs> Who did I just put in? I put in. Oh, I put in. Oh, I can see it. Whatever. I'll just activate this for everyone. I don't care anymore. <laughs> That's fine. Um, so so far, I've only cleaned off this room, but uh, you know, within a few days of work, I could have you, you know, settled in here all clean. I could do it myself. Um, and uh, like I said, you could, you know, maybe open up a, a storefront here closer in town. Oh. There's area maybe you, you set up the kitchen or something as a apothecary station and uh although you you know don't like having guests or anything like that if the occasion ever permitted uh you know if the room to do so she starts looking around um just use that stat block. Uh, she starts looking around um, all the rooms. Again, they are quite dusty. There's spider webs and all that. Um, but you can see her kind of like starting to plan out locations, like where things can go, you know, that type of thing. She's like, I do have to admit, it's a pretty good location. Um, and you're sure you're just willing to give this up? Well, I mean, uh, it'd be nice if he, you know, over time could supply us with some potions on our journeys, but, you know, from a, you know, renowned apothecary like yourself. Look, I mean, I still have to maintain business, of course. So sure, maybe I can give you guys some more special ones at, at a discount at the very least, but I think this will do. This isn't half bad. And she puts out her hand to uh, shake on a deal, essentially. Uh, I'll begin to put out my hand and just be like, would you like me to uh, you know, clean the rest of it before you finish? Your yes, please. Uh, I definitely would like this place cleaned. Okay. You know where to find me or to send someone when it's ready. All right, and the um, real move here is as she puts out her hand for a handshake, you take her hand, but then you you plant a kiss on it instead. <laughs> she's not a she's wow. not a, she's not a people's Start person. The seduction arc. Uh, I'll put my hand out. Obviously, not have the key because I'll need to you know get in the next few days to clean. And the... uh, you guys were quested, I assume, to uh, bring me back into town. I, I kind of like what? No. <laughs> Make that <from> deception. <laughs> we did it for love, my lady. Please, 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 please. Damn it. Bobby, become my lady. Look, I understand. Um, I assume you need proof that I'm willing to uh, move in. So, do you need me to go with you then to the guild hall? to speak to them, to confirm. Uh, uh, you know, Shion not being the smartest guy kind of looks back to the party, I'm like... Well, there's only one well, other person did, with you. Brother, my oh, brother, only uh, Golas is there. Okay, 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 I look back to Golas and I'm like, well, wait, the, the quest says that we have to bring her back to Fendal and, like, this technically isn't in town, is it? No, I'd say this isn't town. It's on the map. Okay. I mean, they will see her when she moves in. We'll just get our reward then. I'm not in a rush. 
Well, well no, what I mean though is more like if I, you know, she gets his newer, nicer place, but then in quest terms, it doesn't count as Fandalin because it's not within the the town. It will count, it's... my brother. Well, I'm just an idiot, so I'm asking. Well, I'm not there, so I can't form you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I mean, Golas has the highest intelligence out of all of us. He should be able to figure it out, surely. Correct. Yeah, okay. I think it's good. So, will one of you like to go then to the guild hall? Uh, here, Golas, go on ahead. I can uh, begin cleaning the rest of the day. All right. Yeah, I'll go. All right. So then, Golas, you can go ahead with her to the guild hall. Um, and as you enter, I know it probably still has you all there, but it's fine. You can pretend you're not all there and it's just Golas. You'll see um, it's kind of the same crowd, not too many people. You still see that drunk guy, but he's passed out. Um, Ing. So, how did your quest go? Well, Where's the work. rest of your party? They're dead. I'm just kidding. They're fine. They're resting up. You can't say jokes like that when we have, you know, the dragon. Please be careful with your jokes, darling. But sure yes, thing. this is uh, Adabra. It is uh, nice to see you again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yes. No, I want to hear you talk to yourself. <laughs> You see her, um, you're going to see Halia reach under the counter for a bag, and she will hand it to you. Okay. So that is mission complete. So that is a bag of 25 gold pieces. Total or each? Total. Shit-ass quest. It's this a old very house basic that belonged to my quest. ancestor for twenty five gold. It is a very <laughs> basic quest. Okay. I I need to ask a question after the end of this session. Okay, that's, that's five gold a piece. I'll take it. I yeah, feel I mean, like this is not the intended solution, in, in which I'm sad. I lost a house that belonged to my <laughs> ancestor. Um, oh. We can talk about things. Yeah. Well, we can always um, we can always kick her out. If killer. your yeah, party is ready to take another quest, uh, we can't actually kill her. Uh, Bomber would not be happy with that. If you are ready to take another quest, um, please let me know. Otherwise, day is yours, and we hope to see you all again soon. Uh, give me the give me the details on something that you have lined up. What do we have lined up? You do see that the quest board where you took this quest um, yep. is relatively empty except for the one silver quest from before called Axe Home. Huh? Um, which you guys aren't high enough rank to take. That previous wood rank quest is gone. Looks like someone's attempting it currently. Okay. Oh, the gnome one? Yes. Oh, that was the one lucky one to do. Whatever. <laughs> I wanted to do that one as well. It's almost oh, as if yeah. I took it off on purpose so that we can wait until Lucky comes back. <laughs> oh, is it going to be? Okay. Uh, yeah. Um, but on the... Oh, let me double check what I can here. Let me open this thing if it, if it will open. Haha. But on... If you're interested, on the big, like... Okay, that's not opening. On the big town quest board. Um, where is this? Sheets, here we go. Um, here we go. There's um, a couple quests. Let me see. So there's a couple quests on the town quest board. 
So there's one where someone was supposed to receive a package, but it hasn't come yet. Find out what happened. And then the other one is that, uh, what the heck? Is that someone else craves meat from a specific animal that can only be found a few days north from here. So you need to go and get that. Who the fuck is craving meat? That's a bit weird. The manticore, obviously. <laughs> well, fuck. So that's it for today. Uh, and if you're, oh. and so you hear Holly kind of like as you're looking around, remember, quests change daily. So if this is not something that you're interested in today, uh, maybe tomorrow there will be new quests that you're interested in. Okay. Yeah. Because it is like the middle of the day right now. So. Yeah, I'll, I'll relay everything that I heard back to everybody. Well, <laughs> you're going to have to go to like five different spots, but yeah. Four, three, whatever. Okay. Well, I assume we'll convene to eat. Okay. Um, with that, so I know Shion is going to be cleaning for probably the rest of the day. Yep. Um, Neri and Arch are probably just going to be chilling for the rest of the day. Golas, anything you would like to do for the rest of the day? And I know Bomberman is probably just going to be working on cleaning those items from that he got today. Yes. Uh, Golas, what would you like to do for the rest of the day? Jerk off. I mean, I'm not opposed. But uh, I'll, I'll just walk around town a little bit. Okay. Take in what's going on around here. Okay. Well, that will be it for today like for in-game day and session wise so yeah all i have to ask was was i supposed to give